Hi, this is Eric Sebi from Rock Tread. We're here to talk about the Chemwall Matte Layup System today. This is a 100% solids, epoxy, fiberglass reinforced matte veil system. It's suitable for many different types of applications. It can be heavy industrial use. It can be decorative, as we're going to show you in a little while. Very easy to do is the key here. What it involves are two coats, minimal, of an encapsulating epoxy, one for a base, one for a saturation coat. Saturates through a fiberglass veil that's hung onto your substrate. After a little bit of preparation on the surface, you just put a top coat on it of another 100% solids vertical version of epoxy, and then sometimes you might want to finish with a urethane or a polyaspartic to have a full chemical resistant if needed, impact resistant, and easily cleanable surface. Very useful in biotech, very useful in pharmaceuticals, food processing, gym locker rooms, pretty much anywhere where you need a sealed surface that's easy to clean. A great substitute for FRP, and you can do it with the tools that are already in your truck if you're bidding on concrete floors as a concrete epoxy flooring installer. There's no reason you shouldn't be installing this system and no reason you shouldn't be bidding this system with our products. Easy to do, money in your pocket, drive products, profits for your company. Okay, now we're back to finish our Chemwall Matte Layup System. This is probably day three of your installation by now, if you're going in a, a sequential order here. You would have primed the first day. The second day, you would have put your base coat on, your veil of fiberglass, and then your saturant coat. Then on day three, you come back, and you've got your system that's, that's cured, ready to go, ready to be sanded and top coated. At this point, if you were able to run your hand across this, you'll feel that it's a little bit stippled. There's some fiberglass fibers protruding here and there. There's a couple little tiny peaks that, that have, are, are of the epoxy that has come out, and you're going to want to knock those down so you get a much better finish coat. So what we're going to do next is we're going to sand it. I'm going to do it by hand, but in the field, when they're doing a larger area, most of the time they're going to be using palm sanders or orbital, orbital sanders. The key to this is not to sand any, any one point too much. You don't want to break through that finish coat, that saturant coat, and get down into that fiberglass mesh. All you're trying to do is just smooth things out a little bit. After the sanding is finished, you might want to go through with a vacuum, depending on how much you've actually sanded. You don't want any particulate on your finish surface, because that will be visible when you go to finish with the top coat. So you might want to sand it, you might want to tack rag it. After it's completely ready to go, dried and sanded, you're going to roll on one final coat, minimum, of Chemwall Sealer. And this is our 100% solid cycloaliphatic white color base epoxy glaze coat for vertical applications. You can add a color base color pack into that to change the color from white over to whatever standard rock tread color you want. Keep in mind though, because it's a white color base, it will shift to the lighter side. So if you're using a dark gray colorant pack in that, putting it into a white color base, you're going to end up with a lighter shade of gray that our typical dark gray will be. So again, after you're done here, preparing and, and finishing your saturant coat, Use the same tools as we did before, a dip and roll technique to put on your glaze coat, usually about 200 square feet per gallon or eight mils. 
that can be your finish right there. But for a little added durability, some people put two coats of the, of the chem wall uh, sealer. Some people put one coat of the chem wall sealer and then finish it with a polyaspartic high performance coating or maybe one of our chemthane urethanes. And then you've got a, a system that's ready to go, ready to turn over for use after it's fully cured. Now we're taking you to the Rock Tread Museum to show you a couple other optional finishes for the chem wall system. We showed you the mat layup system and demonstrated how it was installed. These systems can include the mat behind it or can be installed without the mat fiberglass veil laminated between. The fiberglass veil adds the reinforcing strength and depending on what you need for your job, it could add thermal shock and, and much more durability. But for lighter duty systems that just require cleanability, antimicrobial, fully sealed finishes, things like that, you don't necessarily need to put the mat in. You could finish with the chem wall sealer that we showed you as the final coat to the last system and then just leave it or you can apply like we did here the Chemthane WB high gloss urethane. It's our brand new version 2013 waterborne high gloss urethane. On this particular finish here, as I said in the demonstration in the other room, we were able to throw or broadcast 1 16th inch micro size decorative flake directly into the chem wall uh, sealer during the time of application. That leaves a more decorative finish. I mean, you could see it looks almost like a specialty high end wallpaper or some other high end faux finish. Then it's sealed with our Chemthane P100 polyaspartic, which is a 100% solids, zero VOC polyaspartic finish coat. The last option I'd like to show you is the same wall finished with our Chemthane WB matte finish urethane. This again is one of our brand new waterborne version 2013 urethanes that have just been released to the market and are available to seal systems like this or flooring systems. Thank you for watching our videos. This has been Eric Sebi for RockTread. If you need any other information on these products or any of our other RockTread systems, please check out our website, www.rocktread.com dot com or email us at sales at rocktread r o c k t r e d dot com. Thank you.